ain't even gonna play with y'all. Logan Paul went over there towards Patrick Mahone. Mahone reached down there and got them rings. Logan Paul put them rings on. Got in that ring, hit DJ McDonald upside the head with them ring. Bitch. I was not expecting Patrick Mahomes to go full heel on us, bitch, and work with Logan Paul, thus far working with the Judgment Day, but it kind of didn't go right, but bitch. Bitch, I know McDonough's forehead is swole, bitch. I was like, damn, how many fingers do we got? We only got five fingers, bitch. How many rings did he hand him, bitch? What the? That was a whole fistful of rings, bitch. Them Super Bowl championship rings, bitch. How many championships did he win? We only got five fingers. What in the hell? I was, uh, <laughs> them rings was big as shit, bitch. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another sick and lit edition of Wrestle Shade, the natural selection. We're in the building tonight from Monday Night Shade, okay? WWE Raw highlights and shady moments, okay? Period. April 29th, 2024, okay? SmackDown took place in the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City, Missouri, okay? And let's go ahead and get into the shade, bitch. Now, I ain't even gonna lie. At the beginning of the Raw, when that vehicle was pulling up, I said, bitch, our tribal chief is back, bitch, and he's coming to Raw to spread some news, bitch. Child, we get a close-up of the car. Okay, first off, I thought the car, I thought it was a Bugatti, and then it got closer. I was like, oh, okay, that's a Maybach. Oh, you know, like a Maybach and a Tesla mix. A Tesla, not Tesla. A Tesla, like you send a text on the phone. Okay, here. Then the car got closer, bitch. It was a Ford Focus, bitch, okay? Logan Paul hop out, and then you got I show speed hopping out the back of the trunk of the vehicle, bitch. And the shade in this segment to me was how Damian Priest walked up, but it was like it didn't register for Damian Priest. Damian Priest didn't see everybody that was standing there. He only saw Logan Paul and Patrick Mahomes, bitch. He stood directly in front of I show speed. I was just like, ah, oh, the shade, bitch. You could tell. He was thinking in his head, like, this dude is standing directly in front of me. Let me move so I can be seen on camera. That's what it was given for I Show Speed. Sorry, guy. Sorry, little buddy. Things didn't kind of work out as planned, maybe. But Damian Priest definitely towered over you. And he was definitely, like, directly in front of you for a while. And how he did not acknowledge you. Damian Priest did not acknowledge I Show Speed on camera. It was so shady. This is why I consider this a shady moment, bitch. Like... Damian Priest spoke to Logan Paul. He spoke to Patrick Mahomes, carried on a conversation with both of them. I show speed was standing right there the whole time with that prime bottle looking crazy, bitch. It was shady. And I was here for it. Okay, Damian Priest. <laughs> Damian Priest shaded I show speed, bitch, in the WWE parking lot, T Mobile Center in Kansas, Missouri, bitch. Monday Night Raw. Okay, Stephanie McMahon pulled up in all blue, bitch. Style and grace, you know I'm never taking off my lace front. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bad, y'all. But anyway, Stephanie McMahon, bitch, pulled up to give us draft picks for the first round, okay? Giving us Imperium, minus one of the members because he got beat up and kicked out. And then we got Jay Cargill, got selected and picked on the first round, okay, for SmackDown. I'm sorry, Imperium stand on Raw. And then we got Raw selecting Damage Control. And also Kevin Owens getting selected to go to SmackDown. The shade here is, you know, she didn't come out here telling us the tea with all the scandal and what's going on behind the scenes, bitch. Okay, she came out here to read us some draft picks. Stephanie, no girl. We need a tell-all, okay? We need to know what's going on behind the scenes, bitch. Have you had any phone calls with Vince? <laughs> Are you recording them, honey? And can we hear them, please? This is what we need from you, Stephanie. Okay. Imperium, Gunther, and Ludwig Kaiser versus Xavier Woods. I get the boys their props. They did their big ones. Xavier did his big ones. And Gunther, with that new submission at the end... Crucial, crucial. I thought he was gonna break him in half. Oh my god. Shouts out to Maxine Dupree. She really gave us her big ones. <laughs> Versus Candice LeRae. She really tried. And she was doing good, but I mean, she still remind me of Lana. 
I think the girls gotta go heal. I think Maxine's Dupree's gonna get over when she go heal, baby. And when she get that worm the right way instead of doing it reverse with that cartwheel round bitch. off. Another Monday night shade moment, bitch. We had a match between Liv Morgan versus Nia Jax. Now, Liv Morgan, I give her her congratulations because she held it down. And she came through with the win and the pin. But, baby, if it weren't for that distraction, Miss Liv Morgan would have been pulverized, bitch. Okay, get into it. The chaos at the back where the announcer's table was, announcer's desk, and the back side of the ring apron, and the back side of the outside of the back side of the ring, bitch. Naomi and Tiffany Stratton going out. In it, bitch. Okay, Naomi came through with that attack from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, you thought you was going to attack Naomi and Bailey for the past two weeks just so you could do that tired ass moonsault off the top rope? No, baby. Naomi got your ass back blindsided. Now, I do got to give her her grace. Tiffany Scratch, she looked very good Monday night. She looked really good, but baby, guess what? That attack from behind. <laughs> Oh, hell was breaking loose, bitch, on ringside, bitch. Naomi with that running bulldog. Boom, bitch. Anyway, Tiffany. Y'all time coming, though. I cannot wait for her and Naomi to have a rematch. They're going to have another one, period. But that was a good match. Shouts out to Liv Morgan. Shouts out to Nia Jax for coming through the Monday Night Raw talking shit. We love it. We love it. Bitch, everything is glitching. We got all these codes, QR codes, CPU code, bitch. Coupons coming up across the screen, bitch. And the people are wondering what's going on here, bitch. Is it Uncle Howdy? Is it Dallas Bo? Is it Alexa Bliss, bitch? Braun Strowman coming back, bitch. The Wyatt family, bitch. What's going on, bitch? And then you click on these QR codes and go to these websites and go to these links, honey. And it's all of this satanic ass shit, bitch. Listen. <laughs> So right, let me stop. I know a lot of people are talking about these things and the speculation with all the glitches and stuff that happened between uh, the shows Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. I wish I could get into it, you guys, but I just cannot. <laughs> okay, JBL with the next pick. Raw selecting the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre, which Drew McIntyre was not all that happy about getting selected for the third round pick, bitch. Okay, Ron Simmons with the final pick, giving us Shinsuke Nakamura to SmackDown. But, bitch, this next segment. <laughs> Listen, when that light shine in that box in that sky box in that arena bitch and cm punk was there with that t-shirt with his shoulders cut out ah! and he called you back a tie a little bitch <laughs> i cannot that was another shady segment i mean of course drew mcintyre rightfully so he came out after he heard that he was drafted yes of course but bitch third round pick and this drew mcintyre baby it's given First, second round picks. Not third round pick with CM Punk. But anyway, Drew McIntyre came out talking shit as usual. Okay, telling the people he must be the only sane one here because this third round pick don't make no sense. Okay, CM Punk, you injured me. Congratulations. Okay, but meanwhile, while you were injured, you carried your ass home and kicked your feet up and collected a paycheck. And I came to work, bitch. Somebody in the background said, cut the music, cut the music. <laughs> bitch, it was CM Punk, bitch, with his shoulders out, bitch. A culture personality. That was a cute little segment, though. That was a cute segment because Drew McIntyre got so mad. And it was funny to see CM Punk from all the way up there in the skybox talking shit. And the only way Drew McIntyre could get to him is if he were to actually leave the ramp and go physically walk up there to him. And by the time he got up there, CM Punk was gone, bitch. Like, what? <laughs> All right, you guys. That's going to do it for this installment of Russell Shade, The Natural Selection. Okay, Monday Night Shade. Getting into the shade of the episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be updated and notified on app a little more content such as this okay and definitely leave what you thought was funny and or shady about the show uh you have to forgive me for not covering the entire show it is three hours but this is what i found funny and or shady or what stuck out to me so definitely hit me up in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one Pray.